Hi guys, today let's do a timer or a stopwatch. So take a box, an empty box. I uh, have done some holes here. I have written a timer. This is a timer. So I have done few holes. Here, this is for the beeper sound to come out of the box and this uh, hole is for the LED which I'm going to place it so that it pops out of the block of the box and uh, this one is for the rotary sensor I'm going to hook the rotary sensor over here and I've made a point to the rotary sensor uh, rotary sensor which points to 5 seconds 10 seconds 1 minute and 1 hour so now let me take the rotatory sensor see this is a rotatory sensor we have so just make sure the connections uh, the middle is the red red line the red wire the right one is the positive line the positive wire the left one left one is the negative wire so this cable is the connection is something like this the data cable the middle wire will come at the right side the center cable will come to the right side of the button of the rotatory sensor that is the positive wire then the negative wire so it is negative positive and the data so just uh, check these lines I'll show you again okay so these two these two lines are flapped over here so this makes up a rotary sensor I have to the knob I have connected a piece of paper uh, done a piece of paper to make sure the pointing so you connect it like this so take the box open the nut Oh no, remove the nut. Here's the nut. So open. I uh, place the rotary sensor here. So the rotatory sensor is placed then keep the knob so there you go now take your b-box take a patch card connect the positive wire to a4 positive wire to a4 negative wire to negative and connect and take a LED, a red LED and bend it this way. Connect the longer leg, longer leg to positive and shorter leg to negative, that is black wire. Longer leg to red wire, shorter leg to positive or negative. Okay, after this, you take the box, take the cable, connect, connect to beam, B1, connected to B1 this way red wire to B1 brown wire to positive the black wire to the negative alright ok then turn on B1 switch so the B1 switch is on cool. then take the batteries Hook them up. Hook, hook them up to the socket. Now take the beeper. So connect it to G1. This way. Okay. So now placing up the bag, placing up the B box inside the box. Take the double sided gum tape. Uh, so now take the B box, put the double sided gum tape.
bad things. Then I'll place it at this corner because I have holes in here. Then for the LED. This is the LED. I'll put the LED out and I'll glue it here. Perfectly placed, then I'll close the box and you're good to go. Uh, now let's do the programming. Open BSoft, go to settings. Uh, since we are using a rotatory sensor which is connected to B1. make it input and turn it uh, analog since uh, it is a continuous analog signal which you are receiving from the rotary sensor so then uh, you are connecting a LED to A4 make sure it is output and dig digital so we are also connecting a beeper which is connected to G4 make sure it is output and digital so you can hit on save now so before uh, starting your program just uh, we need to make some pre calculations uh, which includes uh, the ranges of the rotatory sensor so just drag a start component and just uh, hit on upload button so you need to save the file I'll save it as a uh, timer timer one so it is start uploading uploading and it's uploading so now go to B profiler and just connect it to B1 add to read and check its value so it is showing some 900 so I'll vary it see it is vary so you uh, find out what ranges of the potentiometer you get different values okay here in the picture I have shown the different ranges of values which I am getting for this particular rotary sensor so using which I am doing the programming so you find out uh, which uh, which values are getting for the range you select uh, to start the programming first I'll make a decision component I'll drag a decision component and uh, I'll set the values for the least uh, that is the 5 second uh, timer so it is uh, here it varies from 0 I'll take it in between 0 and 350 I'm getting a value around 200 so it is obviously between 0 to 350 so it is in between make sure that about that once the decision is yes I'll drag output component G1 is connected to beeper I'll make it low and I'll put a weight component and wait for 5 seconds and then connect uh, a loop uh, in the loop I'll define uh, I want to loop because I want to make the beeper uh, not continuously beep I want it to beep uh, on and off so to do that I'll drag an output component make the beeper on and wait for uh, let's say 100 milliseconds and again drag out component make it off and wait for the same 100 milliseconds so once I want to loop it for for 20 times let's say for 20 times 
and after this loop is done once the beeper uh, start beeping for 20 times I want to end the program so make it end program by dragging the end component so this is for 5 second timer to make a 10 second timer drag another decision component connect it to no of the previous decision component right here then copy the same same above so much of instructions but change this value this is for 5 seconds make it 10 seconds so I have already done that I have it in this file as you can see here the program starts here then if it is 5 second timer the decision turns true so it goes to yes uh, which will make the beeper off for 5 seconds after 5 seconds it goes to a loop where the beeper will turn on and off on and off for 20 times or 10 times here okay then the program ends so if it is 10 second timer this decision goes wrong that is no and it will it will say yes in this decision which is for 10 second timer so again it waits for uh, 10 seconds by keeping the beeper off then enters the loop to beep the beeper on and off for 50 milliseconds then ends the program likewise for one minute timer and one hour timer and you can extend this loop uh, how much ever you want to you can keep a half an hour timer or a 15 minutes timer 20 minutes timer one day timer you already have the options here i can select here and i change the minutes seconds milliseconds even hours or days so this is the program connect your b box to the computer and uh, hit on upload button